Hey YouTubers, this is Rob Muffet. Good morning. Guys, if you're a regular viewer of my channel, you know the last few weeks I've been messing around with an underwater dive helmet. Well, I recently purchased a uh, tri-board snorkel mask. It's something new that's on the market. It's pretty interesting and I'm having a lot of fun with it. I thought I'd give a review. I haven't seen anybody else give the pros and cons of the, the, the snorkel mask. So I thought I'd go ahead and do one for you guys if you're interested. Now before I get started, the uh, the video is going to be a little long. If you want to, you can go down to the bottom of the video and speed it up. Amazon, or YouTube has a way you can speed up your video, so you can make this go a little faster. Also, I'll condense the video and in the video description below the video. If you don't want to spend a lot of time watching, I'll put it in text. And also, if you're interested in the item, I have an Amazon link. You can go there and you could uh, look at all the reviews. There's over close to 600 reviews for this particular item, and I, I read all of them before I bought <laughs> the snorkel mask. Um, so let's get started. A uh, The tri-board uh, snorkel mask, it was made primarily for people to snorkel on top of the water. It's not really to dive deep or to do a lot of vigorous swimming, but most snorkeling is done on the top of the water just to, to see what you can see. And that's the cool thing about this particular mask is it, it's so comfortable, easy to wear, and it, it gives you really good visibility. So let's start off with the, with the first thing they did right with this mask is you get a much better view with it than any other snorkel mask, the old-fashioned ones. You get a 180-degree view, in fact. It's, it's really good. And if you're snorkeling, that's the main thing you, beside not drown, <laughs> The main thing you want to do is see stuff. That's why you're there, you know, and it really helps you see stuff. It, it, it's it's fascinating. Um, second good thing is because of the ventilation in the mask, it doesn't fog up. Now, you can buy a, a no tears shampoo and just rub it on your mask and wash it out and, and, and you won't get fogged up. But but you don't have to do that with this mask. You, I haven't had any problem in all the times I've used so far getting any fogging because of ventilation. Also, if you have long hair, because of the straps, it doesn't tangle in your hair with the snorkel, like a regular snorkel would. Now, once you get it adjusted, you don't have, I haven't had any problems with it leaking like a regular mask and snorkel. But I do have to tell you, it has taken me a long time each time I put it on to get it adjusted. More, Actually, I would have to put it on and test it a couple times and, and fiddle with it until it got dialed in right. Um, maybe I'm just different. In fact, I know I am. People, people always say, Bob, we've never seen that before. That never happened before. <laughs> well, whenever I use it, i got to try a couple times to get it to not leak. But, but once I get it dialed in, I don't have a single problem. I can wear it forever. Um, so once you get it locked in, it, there's no leaks at all. Um, also, unlike regular snorkel, there's no swallowing and choking on the water because it will drain out the bottom. And it locks automatically when water tries to get into the top. So it's pretty cool. Now some people also like it. They swim mildly with it, not vigorously. Um, and if they have neck or back issues, this allows them to put their head in the water and do a lot of swimming and focus this on their strokes. So it's a very handy thing for that respect. Um, but like I said, it's not designed for vigorous swimming though. Another thing is it's pretty durable. I looked at it pretty closely. It looks pretty well made. Uh, another thing is I think it's going to be wonderful for kids because it's so simple and easy. They're, they won't get scared, and there'll be water rats in no time. <laughs> I think it's really easy for kids to use. Um, another thing is once you get it dialed in, you don't have to keep adjusting it. Uh, another thing is the, the, the water drains out by lifting your head. You don't have to um, blow it out your snorkel. The another thing is, you're going to get tired of me saying another thing, but I'll say next. Next is you breathe with your nose as well as your mouth. Uh, it's kind of takes you a little bit to get used to if you're, if you're a regular snorkel person, but you can breathe with your nose and, and besides your mouth. Um, also, your, uh, your face stays dry uh, when you use the face mask. Another thing is, I think if you're not a really good swimmer or a snorkel person, this really increases your confidence and, and makes you love the water in a way you would not have done before. Next, it's it's once you get it on and it's fitting right, you can wear it forever. You can wear it for a long time, unlike the other mask and snorkels. 
so that's really one of one of the very top uh, features I think is is once it's set up right, it's very comfortable. Next is if you're in really cold water, which I'm not. I imagine it would keep your face warm too. Next, if you've got facial hair, if you're a guy <laughs> who's got a mustache, I won't say about women with a mustache. <laughs> We we will stop right there, but if you're a guy with a mustache, you could wear this. With you wouldn't have any problem like a regular mask. Um, now, the the best part, I think, is the next one, is you don't have to bite down in that snorkel because if you've been snorkeling for a long time with that thing in your mouth, after all, it hurts, and this removes that completely. It's one of my favorite things about the snorkel mask. Another thing is, you don't get dry. Uh, throat by breathing through your mouth all the time with a regular snorkel. You can breathe with your, your nose and your mouth. Another thing which I don't like, but a lot of people might, is it creates a lot of attention <laughs> wherever you go because it looks so unusual. So if you like having people ask you a lot of questions, where you got that, and what does it do, and how does it work, then you might want to get one of these. Finally, if you're underwater with a regular mask and snorkel, it's very hard to talk. <laughs> you might do it once, but that might be the last time. Uh, but you can do a little bit of talking underwater with the mask on. So those are the good things about the snorkel mask. There are some bad things, though, which nobody I've seen on any of the reviews on, on the YouTube have mentioned. Um, let's start off with one. Like I just said, you can talk a little bit underwater, but... If you're on top of the water, with a regular snorkel, you just take out of your mouth, you can talk all day long where you can't really talk too well underwater or on top of the water with this on your face. You're going to have to take it off. And like me, when I take it off, I have to fiddle with it to put it back on, right? So it'd be uncomfortable to keep putting it on and off. Um, one of the main negatives about the snorkel mask is it's harder to breathe. You have a lot of airflow in a regular snorkel, a lot of airflow. Where this, it's constricted. So... If you're doing vigorous diving, you're not going to want this. If you're doing vigorous swimming, you're not going to want this. But if you're just messing around on top of the water, having a little fun snorkeling, and maybe diving down a few feet to see what's on the bottom coming up, you'll be fine. But if you want to breathe hard, it's not going to be easy for you. Another thing is to dive down deep. It's not meant to dive deep. It's not really meant to dive at all. But you're going to do it. You're, everybody, I did it. Everybody's going to try. And if you do, there's so much air in it, darn sn uh, snorkel mask, it's your, your head is kind of buoyant. So you might get to the bottom, but your head's going to want to come up real quick. You're not going to be able to stay down on the bottom too well. Now, another thing is, if you try to dive down very deep, if you're a good diver, a good snorkeler, it's going to be hard because you can't pinch your nose to clear your ears. So you're going to be limited just from that respect. Even if you are a good, strong diver, and you can dive down deep with the mask, you're still going to have a hard time because you can't clear your ears by pinching your nose. Next is, there is parts to this. A regular snorkel mask doesn't have any parts. Where this does have parts, and if you get sand in them, it's, it's hard to rinse sand out. So you want to pay close attention to making sure that you don't get a lot of sand. Where the other mask and snorkel, you never paid any attention to that at all. Another thing is the snorkel, it's two parts, so it can pop off and get lost if you got a really strong wave or somebody bumped into it. I've seen replacement snorkels for like $13, so you can get parts for this, or at least a snorkel part. But be aware that that's something that could go bad. You could lose that part. Another thing is people, I read some of the reviews, they got lightheaded from using this because they were breathing so hard. Where if you're breathing so hard, you're getting lightheaded. You're really doing something with a mask and snorkel that it wasn't designed to do. But it is dangerous because if you get lightheaded, you get hyperventilated, you could pass out and air in the water. So that's not a good, a good situation. Finally, this particular model of uh, snorkel mask, the tri-board, it doesn't have a camera attachment like the uh, October Moon or the Sea View does. I read the reviews for all of them, and I kind of like the tri-board because it looks like it might be built just a little bit better, but the other two I mentioned, the Sea View and the October Moon, which are pretty much almost identical, really. Uh, they have a camera attachment. But I didn't think that was a big thing because I'm a klutz, and I know if I have a camera attached to my head, and if I turn it on, if I can't see it, 
I won't know for sure it's on. So I'll be thinking I'm filming uh, uh, an albino whale <laughs> or, or a mermaid, and the oh, camera won't be on. So I like to use an attachment to my chest so I can look down and see if the camera's on or not. I don't. I wouldn't want one attached to my head, but a lot of people might. If they do, I'll leave links to them in the uh, the part in the video description below the, the video too. You can check them out. So those are the pros and the cons. I would buy it. I would recommend it. But you do have to think about if you're going to do being strong swimming or trying to dive down deep, you won't want this. It'll be uh, ineffective. But if you're new to snorkeling or you're a little uncomfortable or don't have a lot of confidence, I would recommend this in a heartbeat. Uh, it looks to me like a really wonderful gift for, for people to introduce them to the underwater world. It's, it's, it's just a wonderful, wonderful thing to have, I think. Um, they're not cheap, and I, they're kind of new, so I don't think you're going to find them used anywhere yet. But um, it's, it's something I think you'll get a lot of enjoyment out of, and you'll be wanting to use again. Now, there's a couple tips before I go. If you're having difficulty breathing with this, you want to get into a rhythm and breathe kind of slow. And I found breathing in through my nose and then out through my mouth seemed to work better than any other method. And also, I'm thinking about just getting some zip ties and attaching the snorkel so if it does get bumped, it won't pop off and lose it. So that's my review for the tri-board. Like I said, if you uh, go to the, the video description, I'll have links to Amazon. You can read all the 600 reviews. <laughs> that I review, read, or you could buy one. And if you do buy one, they'll throw me a few pennies. But uh, if you don't buy one, that's fine too. I just hope, I'm happy you stopped by and, and watched and uh, you enjoyed the, the video and you come back and watch more. I try to put on videos every week. I'm going to be doing more reviews. I kind of like review videos. Uh, they've been popular. Some of the ones I've done have been very popular. Like I did one on the, uh, the, the rifle, the carbine I bought and some other things. People like them a lot. Hope you like this one too. Well, I'm starting to ramble. That's always a sign for me to shut up and get going. And uh, y'all come back, watch more, and uh, see you out there.